Time for a look at our weather once again with Matt Broad has been very busy today and I imagine folks who love those winter sports are very excited not for just what's happening up in Flagstaff but for here, close yeah. to us. Yeah, we're not going to open our ski resorts with this last storm system, but I'm looking no. at a press release right here. 13 inches of snow in 24 hours for Arizona wow. Snow Bowl. So up in Flagstaff, they're hitting the slopes pretty hard. Snowboarding, skiing, all the good stuff. It's on. That's where I want to be for sure. <laughs> Hopefully this winter we'll get a chance to get up there, Sean. This is what it looked like on our mountaintops earlier today. Now, I started this time lapse at 6 a.m. right before the sun came out. You can already see a dusting of snow in the little hamlet of Summer Haven, right about 8,000 feet up in the sky islands and here comes that sun or at least sun rise didn't see a lot of sun with it saw much more in the way of some snow coming down all said about two to three inches of snow up in summer haven look at those pedestrians crossing the roadway there always a hot spot to be on a cold day when we start to get that snow all right here's live doppler at six o'clock at night on your wednesday evening and things have really settled down we are in the calm before yes our next storm system which is in fact going to be much more profound than this last one we saw right if you're at the top of mount lemon today maybe a broomstick might have shoveled some of that snow away it's going to be the good old-fashioned shoveling snow as we make our way late thursday through Saturday morning. So brace yourselves right now. Not tracking much. It's a dry night. Get out there. Walk the dog. Grab the jacket. Certainly cool outside. But most of the rain is across sections of Pinal County right now headed toward Phoenix. Once again, we are seeing it just a snowpack, a historic snowpack right up here in the Sierra Nevadas of California. We're talking 10 to 12 feet just piling up. Uh, second story houses right now are seeing kind of the top of that snow line. And this uh, is all going to start to move to the south, not the 10 to 12 feet of snow, but the next storm system located just to the west of San Francisco. This will come steamrolling down to the south, then start moving to the north. And as it does, well, enter our next storm chances. Winter storm watches. These will likely turn into winter storm warnings that go active tomorrow at 5 and stay active until Saturday at 11 a.m. So I know a lot of people are itching to get that snow field to get up to the mountaintops. Let's just wait till this expires because A, the roads will probably be closed and B, if they're not, it's going to be very hazardous, very treacherous winter driving up there. Heaviest rain and mountain snow Thursday evening through Saturday morning. Most likely rainfall amounts, I think anywhere from about a half an inch to an inch of rain here on the valley floors. And then finally, the most likely snow totals above 7,000 feet. Now we're not talking one to two inches this time, guys. We are talking one to two feet of snow. Bright lights, big city. Tucson, Arizona, 55 degrees, last check of the airport. West winds at 5 miles per hour, dew points at 37. 51, Sabino Canyon, upper 40s already in Marana. 43, Tombstone, 44 currently in Wilcox. A little break in the action before rain develops in about 24 more hours from now. Upper 50s for daytime highs for your Thursday. We'll keep things into the low 50s for most of Cochise and Santa Cruz County. Let's go to that 7-day forecast. 50% chance of showers really now between tomorrow evening and then that escalates to about a 100% chance overnight Thursday and into Friday. That's New Year's Eve. Heads up 57 could be pretty soggy. New Year's Day early on could be pretty soggy 54, but then skies start to clear pretty quickly from west to east late Saturday into early Sunday morning. But oh, we got to be careful because we'll have some wet roadways with temperatures below freezing early Sunday morning. That could create some real slick spots, but with ample sunshine on Sunday, temperatures near 60, that should melt pretty quickly. Much warmer Monday through Wednesday, highs back into the mid to upper 60s with a ton of sunshine. Paul.